This is Brian from Bond Products and we are going to give you a quick uh, demonstration on how to tune and time, mostly just time, a uh, old 10-292 model. This is a single polar speed binder. It's also the same for a Bond uh, TMB model, which are usually double polar. Uh, we have removed uh, the needle plates so you can get a better visual of what we're talking about here. Um, now these machines are a zigzag machine, so the needle is going to go from the left side over to the right side, as you see here, and it's a what they call a rotary hook. So <clears throat> if uh, your machine is out of time and is not picking up the thread, usually on on one side or the other, uh, usually your your timing will get wide if it slips, where your needle can get pushed up. So there's there's an easy adjustment here. There's a needle screw right here and that will allow you to adjust your needle bar up and down. Now any machine that we have serviced or sold uh, should have a mark on the shaft. There's a little mark right here and there's one actually up above. I'm going to the machine up so you can see a little better. Uh, there, there should be a machine, there it is, there's a mark right there. So that means your needle bar is coming down to the proper point. Uh, you can loosen that screw, adjust it down, lock that screw back up. Now you know your needle height is right. Okay, now for timing, the second mark on the shaft is 330 seconds approximately from, the, from that uh, going back up, like right to there. So as we rotate this, <clears throat> on the left-hand stroke, when the needle comes down on the left-hand stroke, you might have to cycle the machine to get there. We're going to bring that up to that second mark okay now at that second mark uh, just as it's about to go inside the shaft there the point of your hook right here should be right behind your needle okay so as that rotates you'll see that the point of the hook which is right here uh, catches the thread off the back of the needle brings it around releases it and then as it cycles to the other side it's going to come and pick up the thread again off the back of that needle. So it's in time for the left and the right stroke of that machine when you set it down. Now here's your right stroke, here is your left stroke, I believe, and then back up a 32nd, and right there you'll see the point of the hook. If you put your finger right there and move it up, you'll see the point of the hook is now right behind the, where the needle is. So if uh, you have a short point on your hook, uh, you, you might have to adjust it closer. But needle height, timing, and where you adjust your timing, if that is too far away when you bring it up to that point, there are two screws on the back of your machine where the belt connects. These two screws should be exposed. You can loosen these two screws. You can turn this by hand, and that disengages the top half of the machine from the bottom and that'll allow you to turn that so the point of the hook is behind the needle, tighten them back up. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of trying to time their machine using the screws right here by the rotary hook. There's a flat spot normally on this screw uh, that has to be engaged with that screw. Otherwise, if you get off that flat spot, it will jump time very, e very easily. So first thing you want to do is make sure that screw is on the flat spot and then do your timing with the two screws down underneath the machine on the back side of the machine. Uh, if you do those things, that should give you a good idea of how to time your machine. Always start with a fresh needle and you should be good to go. So if you have questions, give us a call at Bond Products. We have the manual which has threading and timing instructions right on our website, bondproducts.com. And if you have any questions other than that, call our service department, 888-800-2663, which spells Bond. Thank you.